Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Time to get festive, time where the football calendar gets really busy between now and the new year. It's going to be such a fascinating time, so a lot of predictions coming up. But anyway guys, I want to get straight into these predictions. So guys, you know what to do, give us a little big crop on that you enjoy it. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Arsenal versus Newcastle. Newcastle are currently sitting bottom of the Premier League, if I remember correctly. Not going too well under Eddie Howard, but on the defence of Eddie Howard, and I'm going to defend him, he's still got a part with the Newcastle team that Steve Bruce has had to part with for the past three, four years. They can't do anything until the transfer market reopens in the new year. But on the other end of that, I think it would be okay in a circumstance to go uh, for Newcastle to go back down and then try and come back up. I think that might be the best way possible for Newcastle as well. But anyway, let's go over to the Arsenal side quickly. Arsenal are playing quite well in the Premier League um, over the past, you know, for three or four months. It... Oh, not three or four months, is it? About two months they'll be playing uh, quite well. So, you know, on the other side of that, fair play to Arsenal, turning things around. Mick Arteta may be the man for the job going into the uh, calendar uh, festive period. But anyway, go, go just as a result, I'm going to go for a 2 0 Arsenal win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Aston Villa. Crystal Palace, can't quite remember who they played last week. But anyway, we're doing okay. Just a point off Brighton at the current standings. And being a Brighton fan, you know, it's quite painful. But they've been playing well and they've been doing well. So they deserve to be read out, really. And I'll talk to Brighton when we get down to it. Um, Aston Villa on the other side, beating Brighton previous weekend. Yeah, I don't want to talk about too much about this, if I'm being honest, but fair play to Villa. I think they scored their first goal round about the 75th minute as well. So, on the other side of that, two good goals. I only saw the one, but apparently really two good goals, so fair play to Villa. Going to Selhurst Park, will Steven Gerrard, you know, go and get his second one out for the boss? I think it's possible because of the, you know, the magical spell when all these new managers come into different clubs happens. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Aston Villa win. My next one is Liverpool versus Southampton. Liverpool are doing okay. You know, they're not maybe their Premier League winning season standard, but they're doing okay. I think they are in the top two just behind Chelsea. I think it's only like three points though. The game that's going to be key between the Premier League race, in my opinion, will be Liverpool Chelsea, but still possibly reckon and maybe a bit too much but obviously still a long way to go in this season so we have to wait and see to see what happens Southampton on the other hand ain't doing too badly great outside the relegation zone I believe they are and to be honest fair play to Southampton but going forward to this game being at Anfield being a tough place to go I'm actually going to change my mind again and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one my next one is Norwich versus Wolves. Norwich winning their second game of the season, I believe, under Dean Smith. Fair play to Norwich. Fair play to them. Will they survive? Well, we're at home to Wolverhampton this weekend. It's going to be a very, very interesting game to see if Dean Smith gets his second win against Wolves this weekend at Carrow Road. As I say, going up against Wolverhampton, yeah, I can see us being quite tight. And I'm going to go for a 0-0 scoreline for that one. 
My next one is my club Brighton versus Leeds. Now where do I start with Brighton? Oh, I really don't want to do this one but I've got no choice. Well we haven't won a game in seven after the Villa defeat. Seven games without a win. And we're still in the top half of the Premier League which I'm quite happy about. But there's no word of a lie, you watch us and you can tell we're struggling for goals. So, yeah, and that's our downfall really, where the goal's coming from. Anyway, going forward to this weekend, going up against Leeds United. I think Leeds United lost the previous weekend, I'm not too sure, but they have got goal scorers in their team and this terrifies me. Because I look at my club Brighton, we only started Neil May pay and we ain't started a proper striker since Liverpool away, which I believe was the start of September. So yeah, no permanent striker on the start of eleven unless Ground Pot changed his mind this weekend, but we have to wait and see to see what team goes out there and try to get a result. Leagues, on the other hand, will be fighting for the points and have got very good players in their team. The likes of Calvin Phillips, Daniel James. They've got, I'll look at their team and, you know, there's goal scorers in their team. I'm going to have to go against my club this weekend. I do apologise to my, you know, my following supporters and Brian supporters, but I just reckon these are going to come and do it so you know let's see what happens but i'm gonna go for a two nil leagues win and hopefully jinx it and maybe put it on the brighton end my next one is brentford versus everton everton doing okay under rafael benitez brentford doing okay for their first ever premier league season still a long way to go but doing okay being at the brentford community stadium this weekend I reckon Brentford might do this one. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Brentford win. My next one is Burnley versus Spurs. Burnley, yeah, I don't know which way that season's going. One, one week they're up, next they're down, a couple of weeks down. They're, so, they're going to be sort of a, you know up and down table team I think this season. It's going up against Spurs and Spurs are a different kettle of fish under learning management. I think I won two games out of two. Can't, not quite sure, don't quote me on that but going to play to Burnley, Spurs go be looking for the three points and I'm going to give it to them. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Spurs win. My next one is Leicester versus Watford. Watford beating Man United 4-1 at Fickridge Road this previous weekend and showing that the we're here to stay in the Premier League and I did watch their highlights against Manchester United and they did look quite good. Bit of difficult to fish this weekend though going up against an OK Leicester side. A Leicester side that don't look really down in confidence even though when they do go through a bit of a dip. It's going to be a really interesting game, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. My next one is Manchester City versus West Ham. Manchester City, you know, doing okay. I think they might be top, I think they're top three. Can't remember, but anyway. Going forward, West Ham this weekend. It's going to be a very interesting game. West Ham are a different kettle of fish this this season, same as they were last season. This game for West Ham really is a standing point, I believe. I believe wherever they do this weekend really is going to, you know, you guys see West Ham, if oh, our top four side or top six or whatever, it's just going to be a really interesting game. I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a 2 2 score like that one because I know Man City can open up at the back. And with the speed West Ham got, I wouldn't be surprised if that does happen. 
My last one is game of the weekend is Chelsea vs Manchester United. Now, Chelsea did beat Juventus 4-0 uh, last night, just in case you're not watching this, on the Wednesday, on the Tuesday night in the Champions League. Very dominated performance by Chelsea. Man United did beat Villa way out away from home for Michael Gatt's first game in charge. Yet again, very... Uh, I can't say dominate because they did, really didn't dominate. I did watch the main night game and they did look up against the ropes for maybe 70th minute mark and you know, good goal by Ronaldo and then another good goal by Sancho. Sealed it for Manchester United. Will Michael Carrick go to Stamford Bridge to get the three points for United? I can't see it. So I'm going to go for a dominating 3-1 Chelsea win. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, ciao for now.